Hello, good evening, Twin Minds here. Back at the Sinking City tonight, where we may or may not want a fishy. Howdy, Sir Guinea Pig. I will give you a fishy, but not an orca, because fuck those things. So, last time I got myself a bit frustrated because I failed to find certain things. Certain things that were fairly obvious. So I spent a lot of time spinning my wheels and running back and forth. But it's fine. We got past it. We got past it. So we can continue. It'll be fine. Robert Throgmorton wants me to find Professor Harriet Doe. To do this, I must investigate and discover who attacked his expedition and kidnapped her. So, we went down into the depths last time, into the sunken temple. And uh, Professor Harriet and their team had found uh, some sort of trinket in this temple. And upon retrieving said trinket, a bunch of fish faces decided to come and uh, kill at least one. Uh, abandon two or three more down into the deeps by slashing all of their diving suit and then kidnapped Harriet and stole the trinket. So now we need to find Harriet. Fish. Is it just me or is everything kind of spoopy right now? It's spoopy and foggy. And there's kind of ambient noises that are kind of creepy. Hmm. But the most important question of all. Do you want a fishy? 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 I may be back here many times tonight to ask this question. Do you want a fishy? Do you want a fishy? Hello, madam. Glad to see you again. Do you want a fishy? All right. Fish. So. Let's review what we have currently in our case notes. We have someone was poisoning the free fish that these lovely people are giving out, thus poisoning random people in the public. The label's been scraped off, there's some powder residue. Um, I need to go to the university to ask a man about a doctor. There was a man who broke into their fish storage and uh, he was talking about a professor. Unfortunately, for whatever reason, this game decided not to write down the name of said professor, so I just have professor or doctor. I don't remember. But hopefully, we'll find that person. Uh, we also have plenty of side quests that have opened up. I'm a little bit curious if we should attempt to do some of those, but I know, uh, let's see, field research requires bigger guns, which I don't have yet. Uh, Mystic Tomes, I would say probably requires bigger guns, but we could start looking for more of these. I've only found one so far, and it was unguarded, so it was more, we just had to figure out the clues. So we could potentially search for some of these. Um, we have the Bounty of the Sea, which is a barge named the Pride. Um, we found the log for the pride, and then we gave it to Vincent, who then gave us the um, the Red Queen and the Skylark, two more boats that he wanted us to find. Also, I suspect we'll need bigger guns, but I don't know for sure. <clears throat> we found out someday recently that orcas are giant assholes that will purposely flip sharks over to induce a state of torpor, then take a giant chunk out of them and then leave them to die. Wow, they are kind of assholes. The sea in general, like just in general, the sea is a big asshole. It really is. You got orcas who do that kind of bullshit. You've got the rapist dolphins. Uh, you've got things that have poison in their stabby bits for no apparent reason. You've got, you know, some of the, the worst paralytic poison known to the planet in things like jellyfish that are practically invisible until you get stabbed by one. Like, is what the hell? The, the sea sucks. It really does. <laughs> yes. I, I was aware that orcas are natural predators of moose. And I, I, I learned that one day. I don't remember where I learned it. 
but it was very amusing and also terrifying. Because moose will occasionally swim out into the sea, and orcas will be like, that looks tasty. Uh, let's see, which icon is this? This is the pride, so I can remove this icon. Okay, yeah, if we extend it to nature in general, yeah, nature nature kind of sucks. Even the non-living components of nature. Earthquakes, tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes on the other side of the water, um, straight line winds, hail the size of heads, like nature. No, no stay inside. Screw nature. Okay, uh, uh, university is up here. I feel like I probably should go to the university. I feel like that's a thing I, su I should do. So we're kind of far away. This one is probably closer than that one. So maybe we teleport to here. And then go north. Nor nor North-ish. North, north esque. Let's do that. Yep, nature, pure concentrated chaos, absolutely. Ah, madam. Please help me out. I'll take anything you got. So the last beggar, I had the option to give him a bullet. I'm very curious about that because I gave him a bullet and nothing really came of that. So I can't give her Please a bullet. She's just help me out. random beggar. But whatever. I maybe maybe one day they'll come back and say, Hey, you were nice to that beggar, we're not going to murder you and I'll be like, Hey, that's nice. I don't remember who you are. Um, can I go this way? No. I mean I can go that way, but there's things that are trying to kill me over that way. Is this the big scary one or is this the light scary one? This is the not so scary one. Good. I'll take it. I remember last time I walked in there, things randomly spawned, but it's fine. Okay, so I should be able to go just straight across here. Immediately a new infested area. All right, at least it's not where I'm walking currently. It's back behind here. Let's see what's scary. Oh, they got little things. Little little things. I got them. I'm, I'm willing to step a couple feet into a scary zone for, for loot. Can't carry anymore. Uh, break. Oh, okay. Not a big deal. I like, that, I like how the music gets extra spoopy in there. Alright, so. University. Big old university. news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister. Howdy, mother. Welcome. My least favorite game I've ever played and why. Ooh. That's 
That's a good question. I, I am fairly easy to please, so generally I can find good in most games, even if they're not spectacular. Um, there have been quite a few, but I also have limited brain space, and I try not to dwell on things I don't care for that much, so... I tend to forget a lot of things, and that includes things that I have experienced that I don't really like that much. So I may have played some crappy games, but I wouldn't remember them until something triggered a memory. You just streamed Outlast 2? Oh god. Yeah, no, that, no, absolutely not. I can't do that. I can't and or won't do that. Right, I need to go to the south building. At least you understand your limits. Closed for maintenance. Hello. Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? Uh, I need to... Westerbrook. That was the name. I'm looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Sure. Specimen? Uh, if you say so. Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, he, he's in the d Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. Why, sure. Uh, if I ask him about the flask, though, he might flee. Oh, sure, why not? You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? It, 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 sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Well, then let's go to the Department of Medicine. You have a good day. G g goodbye, sir. That side. We're going that way. Uh, that, that way. Mm-hmm. Close for maintenance, all right. Why, it's really extra foggy today. Um, I'm curious. I don't... I don't think there's a sun out right now. Why is there death rays coming from that way? I mean, that looks very sun-like in how much it's illuminating, but... It's foggy enough that I can't see the sun. That's probably a problem. I'm probably gonna die. Alright, let's go in here. Bunk. Well, that's... Investigation over. I can't get through the door. Uh, there's probably a door this way. In fact, it looks like there is a door that way. No worries, Mother. Enjoy whatever it is you're doing. So, full disclosure, if I get to a decent stopping point in, let's say, a couple hours, I may be switching to a very interesting horror game. To give it a shot. And it may or may not be scary. It may or may not be silly. Gila. Shush. Gila. Kitty. He's being kitty. Gila, chill yourself, please. Chill self. You are not chilling self. Chill self. There you go. Um, so this department of medicine looks exactly like the hospital down the road. But I'm sure it's fine. They're probably the same architect. Hello. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oakmont University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. That guy looks familiar. I think I saw him in the uh, trailer. But he also looks like an actor. But I can't remember which actor. 
the flask. T tell me about it, please. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Yeah, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What do you need What's me up? to do? Our lab is crawling with, well, creatures. Ah. Professor Westerbrook's research is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. I can deal with creatures. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. <laughs> yes, you solve all problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. Well, thank you. Now I can snoop. All right. EOD is banned. To all staff and students of the, Oak, uh, the University of Oakmont, henceforth, any mention of the Everyone's Obvious Duty organization, known as EOD, is uh, its symbolics, current and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs, is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach uh, disguised as so-called charity work throughout our university and all over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of the Board of Trustees. Well then, considering EOD is basically just a charity organization giving free fishies out to people, um, whoever doesn't like them is kind of mean. Mm, that sounds like the worst kind of genie. Worse than the ones that grant only wishes that make you die. Can't carry any more bullets, bullets, or bullets. Okay, well, I need to go use some bullets, so this is a perfect time to do that. All right, am I going in? The door won't nope, budge. not going in there. Uh, am I going in here? Aha! Basement. There's extra limbs down there. Hmm, fair point. Why? Why can't I aim right now? What's going on? No, why is that? No. Right then. Time to go pick up those bullets. Because clearly I was very effective at my spending of bullets. Yoink. Can't carry any more powder. Can't carry any more shells. Looks like I need to make more bullets. Alright. Thanks for hanging out, Sir Guinea Pig. Have yourself a good night. Now the question is, did I kill all of them or am I going to be surprised again? Like that giant thing that is currently there. I mean, it's caged, or so I think. Is that ca That's not caged, is it? That, that's not caged. Here, let me uh, first aid up a little bit. First aid. Let me get some bullets out just in case. Mm. Mm hmm. Uh, 
actually, out of curiosity, I haven't really looked before. Do we have another camera angle? No, it looks like it's locked into the... Shush your face. Shush your face. Uh, looks like it's locked into the over-the-shoulder view. Um, we can do other things like targeting to change angles. And then we can also uh, whip out the camera. Hmm. What if I don't like whatever this thing is? <laughs> I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? Because creepy shit? Notes. Ah, experiment log part two. Uh, we'll go back and read that as soon as I find experiment log part one, so we can have some order to things. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. Hmm. God, the hanging. The hanging. Oh God. And there he goes again. Ah. Cool. All right. The brain, the brain has lost its, lost its cohesion. There he goes again. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Alright, fine. We'll stop looking at the creepy thing. Yeah, he doesn't like looking at creepy things. I don't blame him. Ah, here we go. Experiment log part one. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd. Was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptionally resistant to all the poison substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. Its shrieking, though, is bound to haunt me. March 5th. Last night I had a vision. Thousands of hands wrapped around me in a blanket and I heard my name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. Oh, I heard THE name inside my head. Okay. <laughs> Not my name. That's even weirder. Alright. So, Stygian Harvester. Now I'm going to have to go into here to get case notes log Two, which I think is going to be in lore and documents. Really? Really? Aha! There we go. It's under bestiary. March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I developed a way to reanimate their tissue, even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures, and perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. Oh god. That sounds like a bad thing. Alright, how fast does my sanity go down looking at this thing? Not, no problems. No problems looking at this thing. He just doesn't like looking at this thing. Uh, I believe that goes to some of the special abilities of the different creatures. Uh, where some of them have different uh, characteristics. And this one apparently has the characteristic of making you mad just by looking at it. Or being near it. Can I 
go away from it. Yep, just being near it is enough to drop your sanity. Cool. Good to know. All right, what do we have in here? Brains. Wonderful. Some serious equipment they've got here. Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Indeed. Bunch of shiny bottles. All right, what's in here? Loot. Hmm. More bullets and casings. Okay, so let's do more refilling. Uh, da, 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 da. Perfect. Alright, we have a button to push. Let's push it. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? So very tempting. Do it. Back to life. Oh, I shouldn't have pushed the button. Definitely shouldn't have pushed the button. You right there, buddy? to self. Don't push the button. <laughs> Alright, cool. Cool. What do I, do I keep the, do I keep the stuff? Looks like I keep the progress that I was at. Inventory resets. I'm just trying to figure out what is actually lost on death. But I do still need to do more investigation, so let's do that. That goes under the category of, I don't have nearly enough weaponry for that. Which is unfortunate, because where I'm at right now feels like I should have bigger weapons based on what they're trying to throw at me. But I did push the button. So, kind of my fault. Oh, it's still down there, isn't it? Oh, it's still down there. Sir, I've taken care of your problem. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. I haven't taken care of the problem, have I? Oh, God. Do I have to... Oh, no. <laughs> Alright. I cleared the monsters from the Department of Medicine lab. So it says. Uh, Samuel asked me uh, to get rid of the basement creatures. Hmm. I mean, it said I cleared... The creature. Welcome to the Department of Medicine. But did I? Alright. This might be time to use the grenade. Here's hoping I know how to use a grenade. That didn't work at all, did it? Thing. All right, I need to fix my brain right quick here. There we go. Right, I'll finish emptying this. If this doesn't work, I might have to reload. I 
I got it. I got it. I used literally all of my bullets. Um, well, except for five. I still have five bullets left, which is good. But still, uh, let's refill some. I mean, I've been needing to use some of these bullet or these stuff casings anyway. The poisoner is somehow connected to the university. I will need to look into this. Ah, sorry. All right, I need to use this. Okay, so I pushed the button. It came to life. That was cool. Oh hey, all the lootables came back. Right. I should probably be able to go get the stuff from upstairs. Hi, Trix. How you doing? Bullets! I got more bullets. Wonderful. That actually refills me almost completely. The door won't budge. Alright, sir. I have cleared your problem for real this time. Your lab is certified creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. How do the one? We can get things up and running again. Hooray for the weekend. I also um, kind of unexpectedly have three days off next week. So not only is this a weekend, but uh, uh, then I work one day and then a small weekend and then I work one day and then a weekend again so it's kind of nice all right so the professor's experiments about that your lab was uh, interesting running experiments on those creatures what's up with that oh they're fascinating aren't they convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree can you blame us for taking an interest maybe not but so much dead flesh down there that's going to attract scavengers didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. Good plan. Your point's taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. All right. I am here. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. Hmm. What are the symptoms? How can you Aside tell from if someone's death. been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage. Internal organ failure and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. Hmm. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. Now hang on. We don't want to alert the bad guy. Uh, antidote. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Great news. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. 
Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. That didn't take much convincing. I'll help you. Here's the key. But please don't disturb the professor's things. Um... Tell, tell me about the professors. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? Uh, I've never heard of this Cavendish before. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. And what's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable, and easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beasts that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. Had I've no I idea them? how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. Hmm, this is I'll true. See you later. A lot of time being spent asked what if, and not enough time being asked why. Okay, so we are investigating. Fine. So this is Westerbrook's desk. Note from Professor Westerbrook. This is absurd. It's been five months and they still haven't finished repairing my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of a waiter. I won't step foot into this building again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this farce. Well, he's a little salty. Authorized personnel only. <sighs> the door won't budge. Uh, I will authorize myself in a moment. Hang on. Lovely. Ah. Oh. Ah. They want me to go in there. Alright. Ghosts, I will go in there in a moment. And this is George Cavendish. George Cavendish. Oh, my face is glowing. There's there's clues in here. Oh, we have an imprint of a key. I don't... It doesn't let me interact with this anymore, so I guess... Ah! This should be good enough to make a decent copy. There it is. So, Cavendish did evil things. Draft of an article. Brothers and sisters. No. Too familiar. My fellow Americans. No. They are, they are Americans too. Citizens of Oakmont. How much longer will you put up with those fish-faced bast... No. Those sea freaks. No. How much longer will we put up with this? Those K-forsaken degenerates who call themselves the EOD. Also crossed out. Hmm. So he is very anti-EOD. All right. Uh, can I get this casebook thingy to, to stop showing up on my? No. Okay. Okay. Uh, clues. Clues. Where might there be clues? No. No clues. You you don't have any clues for me. Okay. Fine. What about you? Clues. 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 Okay. Yeah, fine. Fine. Clues. 
these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Mm-hmm. Aha. So, let's go to our mine palace. We have, um, 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 um nope. 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 All right. Westerbrook has access to poison. George Cavendish made a spare key. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakmont University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to a student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Well then. Uh, let's see. Nope, okay. Nope. We have a bunch of random ass clues, but none of them are connected at the moment. Hello, sir. Uh, remind me about Ryson? No. I don't I'll need to remind you. Ryson's bad. Okay. So, to find the person in Advent, somewhere around here, I only have a couple options. Either wander around aimlessly, or attempt to go to somewhere that might have clues. City Hall might have clues. City Hall might be a location I could find um, someone's address, perhaps. My other thought would be police department. So let's start with City Hall, because it's in Advent, and if I find the right answer, that would be easy. Thought of some thing I could take to her. Okay. So, the poisoner and the university. Can I get that thing to go away, perhaps? Uh -uh -uh. Unpin evidence. I must have I must have mashed that key at some point. Alright, so I need to go straight down university. And take, I don't know, one of these boats. Doesn't particularly matter which. We'll see if my city hall theory holds water. doesn't matter. Let's go down Burning Valley. That sounds fun. Burning Valley is this one? Yeah, that's this one. Can I have... Are you are you dead? Or are you just sleeping? Oh, he's moving. Alright, that's good. Alright, I would like a fast travel location. I would also like... Somehow to get into the city hall. If it lets me, this might not be the right answer. Worst case, there is a fast travel on this general part of the the map, so I should be fine. I'm going to look for a fast travel first. Hopefully I'll find one somewhere nearby. Pretty. Aha! Fast travel. There we go. Hello. 
Yes, yes, I haven't got all day. What do you want? Uh, just wanted to say hi. I'm new in town. Hi, hello. Oh, how nice for you. If you need to look anything up in our archives, get in line like everybody else. So, she's a pleasant lady. There's get no line. line. I'm the only one here. Well, I guess that means I'm first then. So, I can just go look up what I need. Don't sass me, young man. <laughs> Next time there could be a line here, and you'll get no special treatment. This lady is very grumpy about the her lines. Alright, what do we have in this place? I know I need to research, and looks like the archives right there. Is there anything else in City Hall? Door. Door. None of these doors are jars. Oh, hello. Oh. Random citizen. <laughs> she can't get over those lines because they're all over her face. Burn. Alright. Subjects. Citizens. Period. After the flood. Registry. Citizen records. Okay, fine. Uh, not citizen records. District advent. Um... Not after the flood, citizen records. Oh, uh, hang on. Uh, choose evidence. Poison thief. Search. There we go. George Cavendish's profile. Name, George Walter Cavendish. Date of birth, January 26th, 1883. Place of birth, Oakmont, Massachusetts. Place of residence, the same. Advent Central, St. Michael's Road, between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, flat 2. Occupation, Professor of Biology, Department of Medicine, Oakland University. Civil status, divorced. Well then, George, I know where you're located now. You know what? Can I find... Do we have, do we have a clue for... Uh, do we have a clue for Westerbrook? No, it doesn't look like we do. If we had a clue for Westerbrook, we could go try to find his house and see if he's still alive. But apparently that's not any of my concern. Alright, so let's go place this on map. Uh, he lives... St. Michael's Road. Somewhere about here. St. Michael's Road in Constitution. Give or take. Alright, we're going that way. Okay. We're not, we're not there yet, are we? Oh, I didn't run far enough. Okay, keep running. There's that creepy ass thing. Extra, extra. The, the fairly normal statue, and then the giant spiky spire in the center of town that has a church at the base of it. I have questions. I will take one. What is it? No? Okay. Alright, uh, so he's on this corner somewhere. Not that one. Is he in this thing? No. Is he on this one? No. What about this one? No. Ah. Uh. This one. No. This one. It was this one. The door won't budge. The apartment of G. K. 
Cavendish. Let me make sure I'm ready, just in case. We'll do a little bit of a savey save because I have no idea what's coming. But I'm going to be ready to flash him. Oh, hello. Tag from the baby carriage. If you want it, take it. It's free. Um, alright. So he's in apartment two. It's locked. Anything else here? No, just random stuff. This is the smallest apartment ever. There's two whole flats. The door won't budge. Fine. Door's gonna budge now. Knock knock. I am here. So he's... He's definitely anti-EOD. This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. And the EOD is in the center of all of it. Newspaper issue, February. Disturbance in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and Innsmouthers. The cause of the conflict appeared to be the disappearance of several women, with locals causing, uh, accusing a group of Innsmouthers of the crime. The Oakmont poli police continue to investigate the vanishings, but as yet the case remains unsolved. One source from the shells reports that traces of fish scales and seaweed were found at multiple victims' homes, which seem to have participated in the fight. Hmm. Newspaper issue March. Going, going, gone. Body count rises as vanishing continues across Oakmont. Locals are in a panic, with most of the reported disappearances occurring in the shells, Salvation Harbor, and Grimhaven Bay. Captain Caleb Lyons of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests a link between these disappearances and the charity organization EOD that has recently risen to, uh, to prominence among the city's poor. Said Lyons, most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or been a recipient of their alms. We encourage anyone with information to come forward. The Chronicle reminds readers to avoid any suspicious newcomers, especially Innsmouthers, and to remain at home during evening hours. Stay alert! Well then... This Cavendish guy did an impressive investigation. Professor's fact list. Westerbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market. She shouldn't learn about me. New hauls of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. The guard spends most of the time on the second floor during the night. Think about a way to divert suspicions from Westerbrook. Don't want him to come to any harm. Oh, don't want him to come to any harm. Okay. Okay. Don't forget to return the flask to the storage. Think about plan B. So his entire goal was to take down EOD by screwing with their plans. He didn't want to hurt Westerbrook. We, we've got something here. Cavendish seems to be a decent fella. He's been looking in into... Of all of it. He's been looking into EOD stealing women. And if I were to go in my mind palace, I bet the secret chamber is related to EOD's suspected crimes. The EOD has much more going on than charity organizations. They're dirty, I know it. Whatever they're up to isn't good. Uh, and then that's not going to help. Okay. So yes, we got some shady shit going on with EOD. Can't carry any more bullet casings. Well, then I'll fix that. That, never mind, I'm full on bullets. <laughs> Alright. I'll take it. And judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around? Oh. It says he's divorced in the paper. But perhaps he is also a victim of the missing women situation. No, that's not gonna not gonna be something I can look at further. Okay. So what have we in the bathroom? Mm, nothing. Yeah. What about here? Don't mind me breaking and entering. You seem like a decent fella. Nope, that wasn't the button. Uh. Ah. I loved you. I always loved you. Hmm. 
He burned a picture of her. Fascinating. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! Ah, that explains the baby carriage out front. George, I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. Is this Anna? Is this Anna? Was he married to Anna? I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! It was Anna. I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine! Oh, what a bitch. Okay, well, let's see what we have here. Well... Well, he finds out that she was cheating on him. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine. <laughs> mine! And not only was she cheating on him, but she was cheating on him for cult purposes. And then... George, I can't live like this anymore. She gives up. There's something I have to tell you. And then bails... For EOD. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. Ah. Can't live like this. George, Baby's not I don't yours. Care what your Peace out. You will never understand our cause. My child is blessed by the sea. I'm leaving you, George. George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. <laughs> Random hanging. What the hell? And down he goes. Now where are you gonna wake up, buddy? That's a face. Oh dear. Who? Who are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. I mean, I was right. You were, you were right on the breaking into your house part, but not a burglar. Granted, I did take your newspapers. I'm sorry. Um. Hmm. I don't think I want to rile him up with Anna sent me. So let's accuse back on him about the poison. No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? And you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry. Is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once, then my gun will do the talking. <laughs> Fine. Fuck investigation, I'm just gonna shoot you. <laughs> yes, it was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. I, do I need to ask this? I mean, I know, but sure. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time. And then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. 
At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea, that it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No, oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them, they kidnap ordinary folks too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this, how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. So you're gonna murder people to stop them from murdering people. Good plan, sir. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image and Kay, They're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean? Blessed by the sea. What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? No uh, clue. Living in Innsmouth? <laughs> that K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. Ah, they take our fish fuckers. And Got they it. spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. That's cool. Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Oh. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, ah, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. Hmm. So what's your next move? Didn't the Blackwood family I disappear? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand You're welcome. I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? <laughs> you deserve to die. I'm listening. Keep talking. Now, what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's I don't spreading, think but it's not killing enough. Killing people is enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Really? Really thinking poisoning fish and killing random people is not the right way to go about this, buddy. Your agent inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My, my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right. Look, I'm going to need to think about this. Uh, of course. But don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Before you let me go? You're not going to let me go? I have the gun. Alright, fine. Uh, Mind Palace clues. So, poisoning was a sabotage because the EOD ranks are swelling? Yes. 
Um, Anna's pregnancy was ordained. A zealous servant of EOD, Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant, and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. Okay. So, we have a couple things here. So, we have George sabotaged the EOD, and the poison fish is spreading. A desperate savior. George Cavendish became desperate after EOD robbed him of his wife. He's determined to save others from the same fate. Or, a dangerous psychopath. George Cavendish is a dangerous psychopath who won't hesitate to kill innocents to achieve his goals. I mean, both of those are true. Um, Anna Cavendish is covering up the EOD's shady ambition to take over the city. Or, she's an honest benefactor. So this is where we get to choose who believes who. So if she is a filthy liar, then we have helping George to undermine the EOD by poisoning random people. Or, if we have a dangerous psychopath and an honest benefactor, we have helping Anna uh, deal with the poisoner and help save the city from starvation. Thank you. Hey, come here. Come here. So, the question is, which one? I personally don't like either of these options, which is kind of commonplace for Lovecraftian stuff. You, you pick the least of the evils. But in this case, are we going to help a dangerous psychopath murder a bunch of random people to undermine a cult? Or are we going to help the cult basically win the favor of the public, therefore giving them people to kidnap and brainwash and fuck fishes. Both of these options are terrible, but I feel like the EOD is the worst of the two evils. Anyone have any other opinions out there? I think I'm going to help George. I, I think I just need to help George. Ah, I got stabbed in the tit. Ow. <laughs> Ow. That hurt. All right. If anyone has any opinions, now's the time to speak up because I'm going to take a brief BRB for drinkies. So BRB. Okay, I'm back. I managed to take a moment to get my heart rate back down again before, you know, showing how hard I ran up the stairs. And yes, it's pierced now. No visible blood at the moment, though. Cheers. <laughs> Don't have any coffee left. Shame. Alright, so as much as I hate the idea of poisoning random-ass people... I I only have two options. And the lesser of the two evils is the correct option. If I had another choice, I would work with George to determine another method to take down the EOD. But, since I don't have another option, we're going this route. Alright, George. So, have you made up your mind? <laughs> I'll help. I'll help lie. You deserve to die or buy. There's a lot of rhyming there. All right, I will help. Your methods stink and your plan stinks. <clears throat> Still, the EOD is a threat and I'm not going to help them anymore. I'm in. <sighs> You're doing a great favor for this city, Mr. Reed. Never doubt that. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying not to. Remind me what it is I have to do. You need to poison the fresh haul of fish at the EOD storage. It's heavily guarded, but you'll figure out something, I've no doubt. I'll be back later. I need to see my agent. 
Find me after you're done. Here's the address and some ricin. Be very careful with it. Yeah, will do. I'm not quite ready to die yet. Huh. Ah, there's an option to report George, but it reports George to Anna. Have we thought of maybe doing something with the police? Like, is there just a serious distrust of police going on here? What's what's the deal? What's the deal? All right, so mine palace is empty. My 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 mind is empty. So we have the professor's fact list. Um. Not really a fact list, because one of them is get some soap. I'm pretty sure he confused his fact list with his shopping list. Um, Cavendish family breakup. Uh, George Cavendish's request. Flask of ricin. And I know for a fact the poisoner is George. I can now report this to Anna at the fish market. Which I would not do. I would report him to the police. In fact, I'm actually going to go visit the police and see if they can do something. So... Bye, George. Alright, my closest spot is none of these places. So it said he was at the corner of Constitution Street and St. Michael's, but he was much further down. Well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, so we're gonna run over here, fast travel to the police. at all. Feel the gentle touch of tentacles. If I could get a clearer shot of this, I definitely would. And if I could get a clearer shot of this and big enough to get a wallpaper out of, I would do that. Fisk Brennan, Fisk Bronvin, tastes better than it smells. Why is it getting really dark? What's going on? Alright, my fast travel point is, oh, right here. We're going to the police station, which is... Here, here, here. <laughs> there. <clears throat> if the cop doesn't want to do anything or if it's not if it's not a path I'm allowed to take, then we're gonna go ahead and continue helping Crazy What's his face. I went the wrong north. I went a north. I knew it was north, but I went the wrong north. I wanted this north. Alright, policeman. I have info for you. Don't waste my time, newcomer. Well, fuck you too. Fine. Looks like we're going to poison a bunch of people for the good of the city, I guess? What is... Oh, that's the block passage. Okay. So, we need to go to... The fish storage. Which, if I remember, is... Fish market... Fish storage. Yes. So we're gonna go here. So fish storage is down here, take a first right. Please help me out. Dila.
fish storage. Alright, gonna do a save. Alright, so. The door won't budge. Sir. Hello. Hello again, Daryl. I serve the sea. Sea be praised, Mr. Reed. Good to see you again. What's up with you? Yeah, how's it going? Still guarding this old piece of drock, as you can see. Oh, I need to get inside. Uh, mind if I go inside? Sure. No problem with that. Stay as long as you want. Daryl, listen to me carefully. If you want to keep breathing, you gotta skip town. Now. You're taking a lot of heat on account of that fish poisoning. The EOD is on it like a dog on a bone, and they will find out the truth eventually. Bah. I don't believe it. Daryl, I'm saying this only because you're a real stand-up guy and I respect you. Leave this place. Forget about the EOD, or it will kill you. Fine, fine. You've always been on the level with me. I'll leave. Don't be a stranger, Daryl. <laughs> May the sea protect Get the fuck out. Mr. Don't be a stranger, Daryl. <laughs> well, good. At least we got to save Daryl. Because Daryl was a really decent dude. He was responsible for carving up a whole bunch of toys for the local orphanage. And he did it all in his spare time. He's a really nice guy. And I feel bad for him. So good. We got to get a warning to Daryl. Wait a tick. I didn't find all the evidence. I'm gonna have to go back there. Should I go back there now? Nah, it'll be fine. Should I go back there now? Hmm. Part of me says, yes, I should. The other part of me says, that's really far away. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I can't help myself. Alright, uh, can I kill the rat thing? I can kill the rat thing, good. Alright, uh, straight. I'm just gonna walk there, that'll be easier. I need to go this way. Oh, right, this is the danger zone, right. Alright, uh, I can't go that way. But that's fine. My boat's right here. I was confused as to which direction I was pointing. What's... Why, why is there... Random open thing. Alright. Alright, boat. I need to go straight through Oak Street and take a right on Carpenter. I do appreciate that they put up floating signs. Uh, some signs are readable. Carpenter? This place? Did I go to the right place? I did! Good. Let's see if I can find the rest of the evidence. I, I know it's something stupid I missed, like... a picture on a wall I didn't investigate or whatever. Sir. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. So why keep it around?
Ah. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Okay, well that was... It was 141 experience. It was probably worth the trip. Even though I don't know what I'm doing with my experience. Because I have a whole bunch of skills I haven't spent yet. Alright, um, maybe... Maybe we should look into some of this stuff. Alright, so carry more pistol rounds. When close to death, slowly regenerate a limited amount of health for one, um, for one last fighting chance. Carrying more bullets would be helpful. Carrying a whole bunch of other stuff would be helpful. Um, we have carry up to 25 pieces of any crafting material. Earn more experience and stay sane for slightly longer. 25% chance to double quest, or 50% chance to double quest reward items. Oh. Alright. So how about we increase our inventory? Keep an extra bullet loaded, gaining a chance to deal double damage with a pistol. 10% chance. Okay. Um, so we also have a shot. Battle rifle. Battle rifle. Damage increase, 20% battle rifle. Some machine gun accuracy. Load two additional shells with a shotgun. Reload the revolver faster. Okay. So then, and then we have traps. Traps and whatnot. I think carrying more things would be nice. <laughs> First aid kit and antipsychotics I'm not as worried about, but bullets are very important. Let's do extra crafting materials. And we also have 15% um, chance to save materials when crafting. Uh, ammo versus non-ammo. And then we have explosives, saving materials. And then this one has an additional 10% chance to save material when crafting any of them. Um, that's nice. But I think let's go with the experience and sanity. And then some extra quest reward items to fill up all those pockets I just filled up. Probably shouldn't go that hard on uh, materials. Probably should go more into the extra shooty shooty bang bang, but I like loot. So now that I've finished that, is that? Hmm. It looks like a normal walled off area for a hazard zone, but who knows. Alright, uh, I am going this, this, this way. straight for a while. Okay. Let's do a save. Because I've spent all of my skill points. Daryl, you have a good life now. Okay, so I'm here to poison the fish. I'm also here to get the loot. I'm 
Not so much here for the sex dungeon, but, you know, whatever. Maybe more loot? More loot. Getting a loot before I do the poisoning, just in case stuff's gonna go down. Poison. 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 I have successfully committed the beginnings of murder. Fine. Fine. You get to live. Burn your eyes clean for the dusk of time. Alright, so I can report to George now, was it? Yes. I am to meet him at the corner of Hawking Lane and Liberty Road near the fish storage. Okay. Fish storage is down here. Hawking Lane and Liberty Road. Oh, near the fish storage. Right, not the fish market. Uh, Hawking Lane and Liberty Road, so I just need to go south. Right. South. Must have walked right past him. I did. I walked right past him. He's, up, he's right up ahead. Hello, sir. I did the deed. It's done. The fish have been poisoned. Perfect. This will make a decisive blow to the EOD in Alkmaat. You've done a great thing, Mr. Reed. What are you going to do now? So, what's next on your to-do list? <laughs> Hangings? Drowning kittens? What we've already accomplished should be more than enough. After I see the EOD in ruin, I'll turn myself into the police. I'm aware of being guilty of several crimes. The least being theft and the most severe being mass murder. I won't hide from my fate. Well, that's something at least. I don't want anyone else to suffer my fate. And I certainly don't want anyone else blamed for my crimes. Well, at least... At least he's going to turn himself in. And if he doesn't, I can do it for him. Your contact better be worth the trouble, George. He's already waiting for you in the basement of the fish market. His name's Fred. You'll need to tell him a password. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> passwords. More passwords. And, oh, yes. We decided to use this EOD feature against them. Ironic, don't you think? Funny, even. <laughs> right. Yeah, funny. it's funny. Yeah. Like mass murder. Yeah, I think I just split my sides laughing. <sighs> anyway... The password is, the sea is a cruel mistress. Good luck. Do you know Harriet? You know anything about Harriet Doe? A professor from the university. Harriet, a uh, Harriet. Ah, yes, I remember her. Brilliant anthropologist. It was always a pleasure to read her articles. Is it her you're looking for? Why, yes. Yeah. She participated in Throgmorton's little, uh, Expedition to the Depths. That's where the EOD captured her. Oh, kidnapping promising female scientists from the university must have become a hobby for them. Freaks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Alright. So, I need to now go to the fish market. fish market. So, the question is, how much more of this line of investigation is there? 
Because there was another game I was debating on switching to. But there's also hardly anyone here to switch to the other game. And I was hoping for more of an audience for that one. Maybe tonight's not the right night for that. Maybe I save it for later. Bonk. Alright, that's you. Anything else down here I should attempt to steal? Ah. Altar. Lovely. Sacrificial altar. Even better. Howdy, kinder. Welcome. Let's just say the other game is... Fishy related. Do you want a fishy? Do you want a fishy? Do you want a fishy? Sir, do you want a fishy? Fred. Hello. Your name Fred? Might be. What do you want? It's funny, you know. The water's choppy, the weather bad, and I miss sailing more than ever. It's like they say, the sea is a cruel mistress. <laughs> I know what you mean, but listen. I've got a story you might enjoy. You're looking for a Professor Lowe, ain't that right? The scientist that order kidnapped. I think we <clears> can help each other. How do you mean? You know where she is? Slow down, buddy. Helping each other is not the same as let me just tell you everything. Okay, fine. Uh, the order? What is this order you mentioned? Uh, yeah. You don't know, do you? Mm -mm. EOD. It really stands for the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Now it Dagon. makes sense. An old, old being from the depths of the sea. In books, they show him as a monstrous amphibian. The ends mouthless worship him as a god. And of course, they make sacrifices to him. In blood. That's... That makes a lot more sense about EOD's name. Their, their previous name. Everyone's... Something, something, something bullshit. It didn't make sense. All right, go on. <sighs> Nothing's for free in this city, is it? Figures. All right. Shoot. You won't regret it. You've seen some of this city now, am I right? You've in England what's coming? I want out of the Order and the city before it hits. Trouble is, it's much easier to get into the Order than to leave. Give the slightest hint of it. You've signed your death warrant. I need somebody to get me out of the city on the quiet. And that's not an easy thing these days, my friend. <sighs> I've no idea how to help you with that. Ain't you a detective? There are people in the city, smugglers, who know what to do. Find them. That's how you can help. You see, I've heard whispers about ads in the newspaper. A new ad every week talking about Salvation Harbor. Maybe start there. Okay, fine. You owe me. All right, fine. I'll look into it. But your lead on the professor had better be worth it. I know where they've got her. I can get you there. You just find me a way out fast, or I might be too dead to be any use to you. Kitty's being obnoxious. It's going to get extra dark in here. All right. So, we need to get this man out of the city. We need to go find some smugglers. Before I proceed with my investigation, I need to report my findings about the EOD and Harriet Doe to Robert Throg Morton. I can find him in his manor. Alright. So, let's go report our findings to the monkey man. And see what he has to say about himself. He may be willing to help in these matters. Oh. Fishy lady's gone. I can no longer ask if you want a fishy. Where's Anna? Give me Anna. Okay, fine. Hey, you. Step. Okay, fine. All right. Let's go to Mr. Mr. Throg's Manor. His manor is up here.
this way? Yeah, this way. <laughs> Anna was the new fish taster and I poisoned her. Honestly, that probably wouldn't be that bad. But I was hoping for the fishy lady. I may have accidentally killed the fishy lady. Are you entombing him or is that supposed to be a blanket? No, it's a giant fucking cake that they made of the dead son and they are now eating him. That's certainly a an interesting tradition. Huh. I was like, why is there giant holes cut out of the thing? Oh. He got his just desserts. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> wow. This this is a this is a hell of a tradition. You have a wake, an open casket wake almost, and it contains a cake of the man who is dead, and you all partake in eating his flesh resemblance. That's just grim, sir. I know who kidnapped the professor. I know who is behind Professor Doe's kidnapping. It's an organization called the Esoteric Order of Dagon. Most of them stick to the fish market, but they seem to have agents everywhere. Even the university. I knew there was something fishy about the EOD. Puns. The den of those filthy in-mouthers. I'll tear it to the ground. Do it. Do it. Alright. Um, not all ins mouthers are bad. We're going to cover that in a sec. Yes, like the Tom Petty video. Exactly. Alright. So, I'm going to finish this conversation, but I'm going to get you guys thinking about the other game. I'm not going to give any hints. Other than it's fish related. And it is horror. So let me know if you guys want to switch or if you want to continue this one. I said I'm not going to give any hints. Alright, not all ins mouthers are bad, monkey man. Are you using this as an opportunity to make an example of the ins mouthers? Because most of the EOD members I've met were locals. And for what it's worth, the only ins mouther I spoke to was a nice guy. You'll want to examine your prejudice. Are you calling me a bigot, Reed? Yes. I'm telling you something. Maybe not yes. Robert, listen. Something needs to change. You holding a grudge against Innsmouthers ain't making anything better for anyone. Those who fan the flames of hatred always end up burnt in the end. They killed my son for Kay's sake! I know. But what did you do to prevent it? You made yourself their enemy instead of helping them. What did you expect would happen? You chose to brand them newcomers and leave them to suffer just like you did with me. The only difference is that I'm useful to you. No wonder desperate Innsmouthers would seek refuge from a radical organization like the EOD. They had nowhere else to turn. Oh, snap. I shall think about what you've said. And I didn't get my throat ripped out by an angry monkey man. I, I done good. I said I'm not going to give any hints. Ah, back to business. I'll continue my search for Professor Dow. I have a promising lead. You have anything else to tell me? Your task remains the same. Find Harriet and bring her back. You say we are dealing with an entire organization? Well, I have something for you that might help our cause should things take a turn. Now leave. I've heard enough from you. Is it a gun? Do I get a gun? I got a gun! Hooray! I got a gun. I now have a shotgun. Nice. But yeah, do we continue this game? Is anyone invested in this game for tonight? Or do we want to try another game? Kinder says other game. Uh... 
Uh, let's see. Fred's demand. Fred told me he knows about where the EOD is keeping Professor Harriet Doe, the leader of the lost expedition I am seeking. He won't tell me the location until I arrange a safe passage for him out of the city. He suggested using the local smuggling ring. He believes that the smugglers communicate secretly using an advertisement for Salvation Harbor in the local newspaper. Most likely, it's a new message each week. Mother Swinger's curious as well. Alright, so they want me to go to the newspaper. Let's get myself over there and we'll we'll save and have a little discussion. This would be a good point to end it though, because we did finish that chapter. <laughs>